so these last four years, tomorrow is my last day of high school and it's just crazy because these last four years have literally flown by so fast and everyone says it when you're a freshman and you don't believe them but here I am senior year so high school is the perfect time for meeting new people and experimentation and finding what you value and really makes you happy and the person I'm leaving Ocean Township High School with is definitely a person that has changed over the past four years but it's definitely a person that I'm proud to say I am even though my mom tells me all the time I still have a lot more to learn. For my final project, I decided to make a list of seven things that I wish I knew entering high school. So I'm speaking to my 13 year old freshman self, but it's also a list of things that I hope to carry with me into college because it's things that I'm aware of what I value and what I need to do more of and what I cannot lose sight of. So in no word of importance, the first rule that I have is that you are the only person responsible for your actions. People have the power to influence your actions, but you are the only one held responsible. For example, when I cancel plans with someone and they get mad at me, I get mad that they are not understanding. However, I have to be responsible for my actions and deal with how they choose to respond, because I was the one who made them react this way. Number two is do not ignore your emotions. What you're feeling, it's there for a reason and you have to understand where it's coming from. You have to take account with your emotions as to what's been happening recently, maybe why you've been feeling like that, and then go from there. Junior year is known to be the hardest year of high school. For me, this was proven to be right. The stress you experience with the SAT and college apps, you have to find time for the things that make you happy. Cheer was an escape for me because I got to do something I enjoyed and put aside the weight that was on my shoulders with schoolwork. The third rule, which is probably one of the most important to me, is do more of what makes you happy. So if you put other people's happiness before your own, you're going to lose sight of what makes you happy because you're going to be too focused on trying to make them happy. Cheer was definitely what made me happiest. I was surrounded by teammates that I also got to call my best friends. In my eyes, OCP was definitely more than a team, and it got me through the hard times. Whether it was for an hour-long practice or a whole weekend, the time that was spent on the team was where I was happiest. is definitely something that I wish I knew freshman year but I definitely know senior year and I will definitely not lose sight of it when I go to college and it's do not lose sight of your values. So as you become a young adult it's really important to realize what you value and you want to spend more time around those things or doing those things and you don't want to lose sight of them. It became clear to me that my main value is family. In the beginning of high school I wouldn't think twice if I had the choice to hang out with my friends over my family. However I started spending more time with them. I began putting them before my friends, and now it is a weekly thing that we go out to breakfast every Sunday, which is something I look forward to. Number five is something that took me a while to understand that it is okay to jump in and out of friend groups. Probably my late junior year and then all of senior year, I took the time to really get to know everyone that was in my class, and I really just got to know everyone, and I ended up having things in common with people that I never even acknowledged the first two years of high school and now I'm leaving high school with them as my good friends. You never know what you'll have in common with someone. You know what is best for you and if you feel that the people you surround yourself with do not align with your values, it's understandable to distance yourself. Although it may be hard to lose some of what was once your closest friends, it is for the better and it will only benefit you in the end. So number six is definitely a very vague rule and it's just to establish goals. So this ties into the values too. So once you have your values, you can establish goals for yourself. And it all, I'm realizing this as I'm doing the video, is that everything ties into each other. Before every cheer season since freshman year, I set certain goals for the season, such as stunts and what we hope to accomplish as a team and to become captain senior year. Some goals we reach, others we don't, such as my goal to make NHS junior year. But as long as I gave it my all, that's all that matters. Okay, so the hair went up for the last one because I'm getting emotional and it's all starting to tie in now. The last thing I wrote is that time moves fast because it does. And I'm thinking about it now. I'm going to college in less than two months and... <sighs> so the best advice I can give to you to get through high school and beyond is do not be hung up on the small things. Tell your loved ones you love them, because sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. And spend time with family, because tomorrow is not promised and today is short.